Hello, welcome to Tech Dive AV Club. This is Adam, and we're going to be talking about Movie Studio 16 Platinum and how to add music. So, uh, this will obviously work for Pro 2, but uh, I'm going to be doing this one for Platinum because I think there's a lot of people who have bought Movie Studios who have this question. Somebody asked me this question under a video, and I thought this is a pretty simple solution uh, that has some pretty complicated um, byproducts that come from it, and I thought maybe this is something we could talk about about how to add music to a, a track because there's a there's a simple act of adding music and then there's the deeper levels of adding music like how to make that music not overcome the audio so uh, let's talk about that so first you need music now you can go to YouTube uh, and get some rights free music and uh, there's YouTube audio library has all sorts of rights free music uh, we're just gonna find something random here some here here's some uh, jazz I've used in a video before for tech dive and so this is a video that I have that's just another Vegas tutorial that I edited in movie studios just as proof to you guys I use both movie studios and pro they're really quite interchangeable um, I only need pro if I'm doing something super crazy like when I mask out a Korok and put it on a blue screen I needed pro but for the most part movie studios and pro are just interchangeable so um, with uh, movie studios here you can see this is a thing I already have going there is an audio right here this audio we're gonna listen to it a second keyframes but right now you're worried about position keyframes and here I have you can hear my voice talking this has already been I've already added some audio effects or whatever I've already I've already done the leveling this is where I want it to be so you want your voice to the clip it's even tighter on my face so now, so it might even be a little quiet, but usually you want your voice between like three and twelve. That's kind of where you want it to hit. Uh, but even close to that's another key good, frame. as long and as it's kind of will inherit up the here to the last keyframe. As long as it's kind of up here in this top area, that is the most important. But uh, really, I could even probably turn this up a little bit. For the sake of this tutorial, I will uh, turn it up just a little bit more over the time of the clip. So this is a f about a fourteen and a half, fifteen second long clip. So that's better. Maybe one more decibel. This is your audio. This is you talking or your main audio. At the beginning, I have a keyframe. Let's say at eight seconds, I want a keyframe. There we go. So that that is my main audio. Uh, and so you want that your main audio, your main talking points. What you mainly want to hear needs to be three to uh, three to twelve hitting. Uh, you don't want it to going above that. That's called peaking. That's going to distort the audio, make it extra loud. Uh, and you don't want it to fall below that because then it's going to be hard for people to hear on their computers. So why do I talk about all this? I'm trying to talk about adding music, right? Well, so I moved a music track into this project media. I'm going to drop it down here. Now I want you to look at the levels. Hello, welcome to Tech Dive AV Club. Today we're going to be talking about how to do keyframing and cropping. If you're new to Vegas, you might want to check out my... Uh, right, so that's pretty simple. All I did was move this down here to this track, and now you can hear uh, the music and the audio. But that's not really answering the whole question, because if I just said, grab this music clip and drag it to this, uh, this bottom layer right so if you needed a new one you could right click and hit insert audio track and you can do as many audio tracks as you need I think in, in, in platinum there's a huge amount you can do um, uh, and there's only really uh, tighter limitations in uh, the non-platinum versions of movie studio uh, and pro there's no limitation on the amount of tracks you can have but uh, there is there's a problem here I'm going to solo this audio. When I hit solo, that means the only thing you're going to hear is this. Look at that. See, someone else has set that up perfectly where the audio that they wanted you to hear is between 3 and 12. Look at that. That's like that's like It even peaked just a little bit, but they they've they've done a lot of work making sure that this thing is is exactly where they want it to be. So what I'm going to tell you is, you need to quieten this down. And you could just turn down the volume slider here, and that helps a lot. But you have to do it a ton, really a, quite a ton, to get it that quiet, to get it where you really need it, which is this lower half of the 
of the master. So that's actually not the best way to turn it down either. That just turned it up. I'm sorry. Let me get it back to close to zero. So let me go to track effects. You can see here every audio track. How I did I went to the hamburger menu, hit track effects. Every audio track comes with a noise gate. Just leave that. Don't touch it. Uh, track EQ, leave this and don't touch it. Um, this is this is audio mixing 101 here. Uh, you only mess with the track EQ when you need to mess with the track EQ. Audio technician people will mess with the EQ all day long, but there are some rules that aren't quite obvious. Uh, and it isn't just turn up the bass, turn down the treble. That will <laughs> lead you some problems. So. Um, so right now, don't touch track EQ. There are plenty of times I've touched track EQ, plenty of reasons we'll do it, but we're not there today. Today, we're going to talk about the track compressor. Uh, one thing you can do is put on a little compressor on it. What this will do is it will, it will make it to where the audio is even tighter. So the highs are lower and the lows are higher, meaning that it has less of a spread here. So uh, actually, if you look at my previous videos, I haven't been doing this because I'm lazy and I really need to start doing this because um, this is definitely what you need. In fact, one of my uh, audio file friends, he's got a certification as an audio technician and uh, he was like, you really need to start adding more compressors. And I was like, you're right, I do. I'm just lazy. So um, what I'm going to do is just put a uh, two to one compression on it something simple so I'm not a uh, huge audio guy there are exact things these things do you might need to find the best one for you don't mess with these sliders yourself yet uh, until you've got more practice uh, right now just go with these Vegas is already giving you some pre defined things that are, are some pre set up things that typically help you so now we're gonna listen to it with that one limiter on it So that actually altered the audio. It, it really did. It made uh, the highs and lows. Now they're in a tighter area. So now that I've got that, I'm going to reduce the gain by about 12. There we go. And so now, they see how that was different than the volume, though? If I had reduced the volume by 12, it would have been different. But that that's just, uh, it's going to reduce some of the overall full and fillness of the noise. Gain is a little different than audio. Again, I'm not the best person to explain the difference, uh, but I just want you to know there is a difference between gain and audio. Gain and volume, I'm sorry. Gain uh, is more like how much of it there is. And, well, volume is more like how much of it is there, there is, and gain is about how much power it has. So we, we want to reduce the gain, um, and we want to reduce the volume. I'm going to try 14. Let's see here. That's close. There we go. And you can still hear the highs and the lows and the bass. So now we're going to unsolo it. Moment of truth. You can do in a ton of places in uh, Vegas. So knowing how to do it is extremely important. So first I want to show you an implementation of a keyframe. Right? So there we go. There's some music behind the audio. And you can still hear both the music and the uh, main audio, my voice. You can hear it v uh, very clearly. Now, uh, you need to be careful, though, exactly where you do this. Um, because what you're hearing may not be what other people hear. Their phone might have a compressor on it that makes this and this sound closer together. Um, their headphones might uh, artificially boost the bass a ton, and you're not expecting that. Uh, there's all these devices mess with your audio so when you put it on YouTube or whatever they're going to have changed it so my advice to you is if you're new to Vegas you might want to take check out my well actually yeah that's good advice here <laughs> if you're new to Vegas you might want to take check out my uh, new to Vegas video I'll link up here and I also got some Skillshare tutorials too if you're interested in starting from scratch if you're not all right, so yeah, what I just said there, I want to reiterate. Yeah, sign up for my Skillshare if you're like brand new to the software. Uh, you can get two weeks free, and I've got a lesson on it. I think I think you'll like it. And then, um, um, but I also got another video for beginners too, and I'll, I'll put right up here uh, that you can watch if you're still new to this. But um, so for the music side of things, just be careful. Uh, maybe even listen to it on a couple of different devices or have studio headphones. I have a gear video where I suggest some studio headphones. I'll put that video here. Uh, but 
uh, studio headphones will really help you get a more true understanding of what your leveling is. And I've messed up in the past. There, you might find a video of mine on this, our main channel, Tech Dive, uh, where my music's too loud and everybody's complaining about it. Uh, it's real. You can really screw it up. Uh, yeah, I might want it a little bit louder than it was, but we're going to be talking about how to do keyframing and cropping. If you're new to Vegas, you might want to check out my uh, new to Vegas video. I'll link up here, and I also got some Skillshare tutorials too. If you're, that's probably where I would leave it for me for this particular uh, rice free music clip for this particular. Uh, gain for this particular compression I have on it. That's pr about where I'm going to leave it. Now, uh, this is not the only right answer. There's a lot of right answers for this. So this is a an answer. And I wanted to show you the world of sound mixing a little bit. It's a lot of video people like to talk about video effects a lot. But one of the things that makes Vegas Creative Software so good is it doesn't forget that music and sound are a huge part of video, and it has a ton of tools to help you do that. Uh, so right here uh, uh, this is it this is how to add uh, music in movie studio 16 platinum thank you so much for watching I'll see you next time